Concordia CUTV News, CUTV's weekly bilingual news program coming to you from Concordia University in the downtown campus okay, in Montreal. In studio with Rushdia Merin, a geography graduate student here at Concordia University. Uh, Rushdia is also has been strongly involved uh, here in Montreal in the mo student mobilizations and also is uh, active on the organizing of the global education strike. Hello, Rushdia. Hi. Welcome. So uh, tell us Thanks. a little bit about the, uh, the global education strike. What is that and how is that being organized? Um, it's, it's kind of uh, organized around the International Student Movement Network. Uh, so uh, there are there are chats happening um, now uh, every two weeks, uh, where um, there were people from more than 35 cities uh, uh, across uh, across the world. I would say Asia, uh, Europe, uh, North America, South America. Um, so so we get together. Uh, this 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 meeting has been happening since a long time. The ISM and we we've been doing joint actions. So this time around, the plan is to uh, to have a, a global education strike. Uh, given that you know, uh, since what, what's been happening uh, since a few years, the the austerity measures, the, uh, uh, the the budget cuts that that we've been seeing, it's it's the same struggle everywhere. So we wanted to underline that and have uh, a, a coordinated uh, action. One on uh, 18th of October uh, this year. That would be an action, and then between uh, 14th and 21st of November, it would be student strikes. So then students uh, with, uh, in, a, in a given uh, city or a university would decide whether they're going on a strike for the full week or three days, one day, and also it would be it would be decided at local level. Mm -hmm. And so, where does that uh, idea come from to be uh, globally linking the student uh, <laughs> issues together? Are there commonalities that can be drawn, or how how do you see that? Yes, of course, of course. There's a lot of commonalities. Uh, well, uh, like I said earlier, there is there is this uh, uh, the austerity measures uh, that are uh, happening everywhere. Uh, even now in, in Spain, uh, we've seen these these huge uh, huge budget cuts. Um, so that's that's one. Then the uh, other is uh, the privatization and the commodification of education. Same story everywhere. Um, the, the tuition fee uh, being increased, so like uh, the government uh, pushing more and more the responsibility for education towards the individuals. Um, and then there is this, this increasing pr pressure to perform. You know, uh, there's not enough, uh, enough, enough money, not enough budget, so the seats are limited. So, so like you have to really like fight for that seat to this, this, this land of higher education. Um, and there's there's the increasing corporate influence on teaching and research. So so this is is happening everywhere. We've been having, like I said, the International Student Movement Network has been up since 2008, I believe. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> I guess it's too late for that. But it's been long since a long time. It's been around since a long time, and there has been these. Uh, these these meetings uh, between uh, activists and so so there was this this links already exist and there has been other coordinated actions that has happened uh, starting um, uh, I believe like uh, I remember 2010 November we had we had one and then there were other a series of them so so now uh, given there's this huge strike here in, in Quebec uh, there has been uh, a strong moment in California as well last year uh, in Brazil there is a student strike. Uh, so g given, given this atmosphere, uh, it, uh, it seemed appropriate uh, that, uh, that at least two people who were, who were there, there were like 35, like I said, 35 uh, cities represented um, to, to have a coordinated action. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I, I imagine that students, are also faculty, I imagine, are also involved in this. Uh, we know that there were protests in uh, Brazil also, uh, welcoming, uh, among others, our uh, Charré, uh, the Prime Minister, yes. Charré, you were uh, on the ground. Uh, tell us a little bit about that as well. Uh, yeah, so the faculty is involved, uh, both in Brazil and even in ISM, uh, the International Movement. There, there is faculty members who join uh, the, uh, the chat and wanting to, uh, to help in, uh, organize this. Uh, yeah, and in, uh, in, in Brazil, it was, it was pretty interesting. Uh, Charré had invited uh, uh, 
the civil society, uh, Quebec civil society who were there uh, for the summit uh, to meet with him and, uh, and um, like discuss the, uh, the sustainable development uh, while he's promoting uh, Plan R. Uh, so, so the uh, the idea of the protest was to tell Shari number one, uh, you know, the real discussion should happen in in Quebec, not here. Um, and there were uh, there were actually some signs that were saying Shari dar la plan le lot bar, la 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 nar lot bar. So, so it was an interesting uh, demonstration, bec also because we have, we saw so much solidarity from uh, from Brazilian students. Um, who are also on strike. Uh, there are um, over 40 univers uh, universities, uh, or students from over 40 universities in Brazil are also on strike. Um, so, so yeah, and then um, we, we had this theme of uh, Share, you, you won't be in peace, no, uh, like, no matter where you go. Mm -hmm. uh, um, yeah. And so uh, I guess you really get the sense that uh, that uh, the struggle here in Quebec is not isolated and not uh, alone in a sense, I, I suppose. Uh, you're right, yeah. Uh, so, so there were a lot of slogans from, from uh, um, the Brazilian uh, uh, students, uh, one saying that, you know, uh, that it's, going to be, it's going to be spring here as well. Uh, uh, and uh, th that was one. And also, yeah, there was, there was so much solidarity and, and people were, were uh, uh, like uh, looking to to uh, to learn from the Quebec movement and also uh, uh, also just showing uh, like you know like showing their support and and uh, what what they can do for us and and like they're, they're like one thing you have done for us is like you know, like you're pushing our movement forward the the profs were on strike uh, beforehand um, like a prof went first and then it was the students who followed the strike. So it's, it's, it's amazing and I think it would be great if something like this can happen here. Mm -hmm. How about France going on strike? <laughs> and how can people uh, follow uh, these uh, developments, uh, these, these organizing the, the global student uh, strike? Uh, how can they get more information on this? Oh, the, there's a website called uh, uh, ism-global.net. Um, yeah, and uh, there is a, a chat happening um, on, on Sunday. Uh, Sunday noon, so um, people are, are, uh, are welcome to join, and then they have to just discuss in their uh, own general assemblies and, and take a position on on going on strike between 14th and 21st of November. So we'll see if uh, Concordia also uh, gets involved in this. Uh, I am sure you've been uh, working hard on uh, organizing that on that front. Uh, yeah, we've been talking a lot. Um, at this point, the general assemblies, we all know, quorums are difficult, but then come August. Uh, we, we'll, we'll have the, this, this August interesting uh, experience. La yeah. La no rentre. Or return to strike. Um, and, uh, and yeah, then we're going to work on, uh, on the uh, November for sure. Perfect. Yeah. Well, it's thank you very much, uh, Dia, for uh, coming into the studio and uh, speaking to us about the global uh, student strike. Thank you so, so much. Uh, we have been speaking to Rushdia uh, Merin, a geography graduate student here at Concordia University and uh, one of uh, the uh, local organizers for the global education strike. For more information, you can visit uh, www.ism-global.net. And that uh, does it for uh, this uh, edition of CUTV News, July uh, 13th, Friday the 13th. Uh, be sure to tune back in next Friday at uh, 6 uh, p.m. for more news produced by and for the Montreal uh, community. And as always, you can uh, follow us, visit us online at cutvmontreal.ca. <laughs> Continuez le combat, combat, combat.